Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. I am back, and we're going to be having shows every day again. Uh, so it is really, really good to be back. Um, I've been traveling so much, uh, covering different fights in boxing. So go uh, covering different fights in Texas. So uh, please go check the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, get all the content. I have a lots of content, lots of fighters from Texas, lots of uh, information um, on Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, on YouTube, please like and subscribe to that channel. Help us get that monetized up and running as quickly as possible. Um, but I'm going to take a little time to pat myself on the back here. Um, I've been picking Usyk to become the heavyweight champion of the world, to beat Joshua since he moved up to this weight class two years ago. Um, I don't want to brag, uh, but I'm absolutely going to brag. Uh, because so many of y'all told me he was, uh, you know, Usyk was going to get wide, he was going to get stopped, he was too small, this, that, and third. He's 6'3", 220. 6'3", 220 for a long time was the size of heavyweight champions. Then we had Rick Bowe, Lex Lewis, and you had these 240, 250-pound champs. Um... I, I don't think Usyk is too small. I said if he can get to 220, he'll be on the small side of the heavyweight, but he's big enough he can win. And that's exactly what we saw. Um, I, I thought it was borderline and outclassing. I had it nine rounds to three. We'll get to my scorecard in a little bit. Uh, but I had it nine rounds to three, 117, 111. Uh, I thought it was was a was fairly dominant performance from um, Usyk. He did exactly what he had to do, right? He needed to get on the inside. Work, 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 angle in. You know, not, not just walk in the front door. Use angles to get in. And as Teddy Atlas would say, catch him coming and going. Hit him on the way in. Hit him on the way out, right? Smother him. Don't let AJ extend his arms. Which takes me to my other point. What is AJ at this point? AJ doesn't have an identity. What is it? Is, is, is AJ a box on the outside because he's too slow for that? Okay. Is he, is, is he a knockout artist on the inside? Because he doesn't do it anymore, right? So what is AJ's identity in the ring? If, if I said, guys, where's where's AJ's sweet spot? Where does AJ want to be? How is AJ going to control this fight? Where is it? There's not really an answer, right? And, and this is what I saw. Right? Like AJ, you know, isn't a killer on the inside. He's not a sniper from the outside. He's not quicker than you. He's not faster than you. He's fundamentally sound. He's got good power. He's a good heavyweight. Usyk can be a special heavyweight because he's not undersized. And those skills, that punch volume, the angles, the angles, the angles, the angles, um, and then he angles up, makes you miss. Nothing, nothing straight in. Nothing's in the front door. Everything's coming in through the side. Um, and he did get hit. He got hit so few times. I don't want to say that. It, it was dominant. It, it was dominant. I, I don't want to say it was one-sided. Joshua had moments in the fight. It wasn't a complete wash, but I, I thought clearly Usyk was the better fighter. Clearly Usyk was winning the rounds. Um, Eddie Hearn made a ridiculous comment that he thought uh, Joshua was winning after eight rounds. Uh, I scored at that point two rounds <laughs> for AJ. Uh, I scored the fifth and the sixth. I, I thought, you know, and those rounds, I, I thought, were the close rounds, right? Like, I, I thought Usyk, the clear rounds, he clearly won the first four rounds. The fifth and the sixth, close rounds, I gave him to AJ. And then I, I, I thought, um, after that, I, I thought Usyk was, was dominant again. You know, after the second half of the fight, I thought he won basically every round. You know, I, I didn't see this, like, just like when I said I, the TV with Lopez fight with Mr. Lomachenko, everyone was like, oh, that fight was close. I didn't think it was close. And I didn't think this fight was close. I, I thought I, I thought it was clear 
that Usyk won most of the rounds. That's majority of the rounds. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. You have five, six, and ten are the only rounds I gave to, to, to Joshua. Uh, and Usyk did exactly what I thought. I wasn't shocked by the performance. Um, you know, I I, I I don't think this was a one-off performance that Usyk could I think if they fought again, it would look really similar to this. The one thing I will say about Usyk is he's got to learn to knock people out. He's had, He had Joshua hurt a couple of times. Never in serious trouble, but he had him in, in, in some trouble, right? He's got to learn how to finish people. You can't run through the heavyweight division UD 12ing everyone. You're not going to UD 12 everyone. You're going to have to knock someone out because if you do, you can get knocked out. Okay. These guys all can hit hard. All of them. All the top heavyweights in the world can hit hard. And then it takes one. You get caught. It's a good night. So he's going to have to learn to finish people. Now he's 34. I don't know how long he plans on fighting. Right? 34 historically was on the way out for heavyweight. Um, so where does Usyk go from here? I don't know. You know, um, obviously the, the the rematch is next. I'm assuming he wins that the same way he wins the first fight. Because I thought Joshua fought pretty well. Like, I thought Joshua did what he could do. It's just not enough. Right, like Usyk, and this is a difference, right? This is a difference between a great heavyweight, a good heavyweight, and a great boxer. A great boxer does that to a good heavyweight, and Joshua's a good heavyweight. All right, um, I, I said, I, I think he's a little overrated. Like he's a good heavyweight, he's a good champion, he's good for the sport. I like Joshua. Fury outboxes him while he knocks him out. Usyk does this to him, and I was pretty confident on that, right? I'm pretty confident Wilder would knock him out. I'm pretty confident I didn't shape Andy Ruiz knocks him out again. And Tyson Fury outboxes him for days. So uh, that's not a knock on Joshua. This is a pretty good class of heavyweights right now. But I, I, I don't think that he's, you know, you can say he's a top 20 heavyweight. He's going to make this. He's going to have this great, like I said, I don't, I don't see that, right? He's a champion. He, he won it on merit. He defended it. He fought good fighters. And, and, and Usyk is just a lot better than he is. And that's all there is to it. Um, so where does Usyk go from here? It's a great question. Um, he's going to have the rematch. And, and Joshua's going to exercise the rematch because Joshua's a fighter. Uh, Joshua's a guy. Again, I don't want to disrespect Joshua. I just think Usyk's much better. And, and that was on that was on, in full view on, on Saturday. Um, and then, I mean, I, how much longer does Usyk fight? You know, does he want to go... It, into his late thirties, or does he want to kind of walk away? I mean, I, I imagine he wants to win a Fury Wilder. I, I would think, you know, maybe two more fights for Usyk. But then, if he does that, where does he go from here? You know, does he retire at the top of his sport? I hope he does. If he comes undisputed in two time in, in, in two weight classes, him and Holyfield did that, but Holyfield did it in three belt era. Uh, Usyk would do it in the four belt era. Um, really impressive stuff. Now, Usyk doesn't have enough good years left. He's already 34. Um, to kind of surpass Holyfield in, in terms of legacy, but he, he ranked pretty high. You know, ranked pretty high. Um, but he's, he's got a great career. I first battle Hall of Famer now. It's won seven belts and two weight classes. Undefeated. I mean, if you beat. <laughs> Fury, he's cleaned out new divisions. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism, go to autism research and recovery. It is September 27th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still on the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.